hello guys uh, welcome to tech design uh, in my previous uh, tutorial i have discussed you about the sketcher commands all the sketcher commands are completed right now so we will move on to the some tutorials two tutorials i will be going to show you how to create a sketches and even uh, constraining and dimensioning so in this uh, tutorial i will be explaining you how to do this uh, drawing so <clears throat> Initially, there will be a uh, two uh, uh, circles here with a 62 diameter and a 40 diameter. So we'll draw that. Go to Sketcher, select the plane. Okay, here we go. So first one is uh, with 62 diameter, and the another one is 40 diameter. So I have drawn it. Now you can see that. Mm, there are three circles uh, concentric circles here with a 30 mm diameter and 20 mm diameter i will quickly draw that one is with a 30 mm diameter and another is with 20 mm diameter so make them concentric so you can see it here guys uh, the auto dimension is on here just quickly off it go to more here and continuous auto dimension switch it off so i'll just delete it i hate that actually uh, you can see here there is an arc which is 100 mm radius so which is tangent to the all these three concentric circles so we'll just draw that uh, arc here with 100 mm radius give 100 mm as a radius and the first point second points here we go okay now just move this near to the arc so that you need to make it tangent you can see that okay uh, i will show you this is you can see that this arc is tangent to these circles one of the circle outer circle so press c for a geometric constraint select a tangent select the curve and the circle it will become tangent similarly there is two more circles here with the 30 and 20 i will draw it one is with a 30 another one is with 20 okay make concentric now you can see that these two circles are lying on this same line as well as this is tangent to this arc so we will do that press c for the geometric constraints and point on a curve i want this point to be on this line so you can see that it is a comes on this line now go to tangency select this curve and this curve make it as tangent that's it so you can see that here uh, 65 is the distance between these lines and the center of this circle so i'll quickly take a dimension d for the dimension select this center and this center give it as 65 okay here we go this is done now i want these circles to be mirrored on the opposite direct opposite side so i'll just take a mirror command here i've already explained all the commands here uh, in my previous uh, tutorial please go ahead and check it out so these two circle i want to make a mirror so it is mirrored click ok you can see here there is an extension here and we are not sure about whether it is ended or not see you can see here if you drag it it is not ended so you need to trim these two extension so for that t is the shortcut press t and trim it out okay now what is left okay you can see here these two we can uh, i will tell you at the end we will make these pattern circle i've already shown you uh, about the pattern when when I am discussing in the sketcher tutorials so I'll show you once again with a 6 diameter and 8 diameter so I will draw two circles with 8 diameter and as well as 6 diameter okay make them concentric okay now my circle is somewhere else and i just wanted to make it lie on this arc how we will do by point on curve press c select a point on curve this point i want to be on this curve you can see that and also the same
point should lie on this line x axis so you can see that it is perfectly matched now i want to pattern this circle for six times so i will show you the pattern go to here select the pattern and this is a circular pattern so you need to make sure that is circular is selected so what which curve you want to make a pattern these two curves and specify the point along which point it should rotate so this is my point and you have the number of counts and a span span is number nothing but a total revolution so i will change it to pitch not count and span so i have a count that is 6 and span is 360 degree you can see that it is patterned this is as simple as that guys so you can see that the left thing is you can just trim it out the inside circle you can see that all are trimmed because it is constrained there is a constraint existing here this is a circular pattern constraint if you remove it then you can able to delete each and every one separately so you can see here this is there are there is a line here with a 18 radius so how you can do that just take a line and draw a line here and draw a line with the horizontal and vertical press c for the geometrical constraints to select a tangent make sure this and this are tangent this this is tangent and extend this for extension make corner we can use so where is the make corner okay you can see that it is make cornered and i will trim the extended portion here now what is the radius it is 18 so go to fillet f is the fillet uh, shortcut so give 18 that's it you can do the similar thing on the other side or else you can make it mirror go to mirror command select these two select the center line you can see that it is mirrored this is how you need to do the sketcher in this uh, tutorial this is the one example i am showing in the next my tutorial another one example i am going to show make sure that the sketch is fully constrained so that it will be easy for you to edit uh, thank you guys uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you very much